So you want to become the undisputed ruler of hydroponics in your basement. Well, it really comes down to one simple thing. Obey the laws of nature. There's only one man on YouTube that I know of that can disobey the laws of nature and get away with it. And that man's name is Jeb. And the number one law of nature that he violated, by the way, was growing that disgusting looking radish. Jeb, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Everything else you do is amazing, but that radish did not look appealing. I get a lot of questions from different people about, you know, what kind of nutrients should I use? What kind of containers should I use? How often should I change the water? All sorts of stuff. So I'm gonna combine all of the answers to those questions into three tips to help you maximize success as you start out. Now, if you've been doing it for a while and have any other tips that I leave out or wanna correct me for any reason, leave it in the comments down below. So, let's get started. I'm gonna break it down into three simple things, three simple tasks, three simple things that you can do to maximize your success. Um, but first, some ground rules, some assumptions that we need to get out of the way. I'm talking about a non-circulating system or a cracky setup because it's the easiest. There's no pumps, there's no ebbing, there's no flowing, there's no deep water, there's no culturing. It's just a bucket of water with a plant growing in it. Two, I'm talking about lettuce because lettuce is the easiest thing to grow. It's very tolerant of mistakes, it's very tolerant of pH balance differences, it's very tolerant of different kinds of nutrients. It's just a very easy plant to grow. And third, I don't think there's a third thing. Those two things, those are the two assumptions. Tip number one, use the cracky method and get the right size container. Think of it this way. As an American, I have the option of going to a restaurant and getting a soda. I can order a small soda like this and fill it up a million times like an animal. Or I can get a large soda like this and I can fill it up one time or maybe two, depending on how thirsty one is, but one time and uh, not have to keep going back a thousand times. Less maintenance. Cracky method is the same way. When I started out, I had a one gallon container like this. I tried to grow two heads of lettuce in it. A head of lettuce takes about four to six liters of water to grow to maturity. Um, two heads of lettuce in a one gallon container is not enough water. So what ended up happening is the last couple days when I thought there was, you know, two or three inches of water left in here, those plants would suck that water up and before I knew it, the thing was dry and the plants fell over dead. Uh, so, you know, you can use a red solo cup if you want, but you've got to keep your eyes on that thing and fill it up every day, maybe even twice a day as that lettuce gets bigger. So if you use a bigger container like this, a three gallon container, uh, that's enough water to grow two heads of lettuce maturity and it works fantastic as you can see here. So. Tip number one, use the right size container and use the cracky method. Tip number two, don't use miracle Grow. Get yourself some proper hydroponic nutrients. And the reason why you can't use miracle Grow is because it doesn't have all of the nutrients that you need to grow a plant in water. miracle Grow is formulated specifically for growing plants in soil. It leaves out nutrients like calcium. It doesn't have as much magnesium in it. It doesn't have as much of the um, essential nutrients, the micronutrients that a plant needs. When you grow a plant in water, there's no nutrients in the water. There might be some trace nutrients, calcium, things like that. But for the most, for, the, for all intents and purposes, there's no nutrients in the water. So you have, to, you have to provide the complete set of nutrients for this plant to grow. miracle Grow leaves out a certain number of those nutrients because it expects those to be there in the soil. So there's a ton of people that have done videos comparing miracle Grow to hydroponic solution. Go check those out. You'll see that you'll get like a much smaller head of lettuce. So you can do that. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying if you want to maximize your, your, meant to maximize your success, get yourself a proper hydroponic nutrient. All right, tip number three. Get yourself some lights. You're gonna need lights, I'm sorry to say. Unless you've got a windowsill or something that gets like four hours of direct sunlight a day or more, you're not gonna be able to grow lettuce without some proper lights. Uh, check this video clip out here. I grew, I tried to grow these two lettuce heads in mason jars, which is this too small of a container. I know it's too small of a container, but I just tried to see, tried to do it just to see what would happen. I put them by a window that is very bright, or I thought it was very bright, and they got super leggy. Like, there's just not enough light, even by what you think is a bright window. So, 
you're gonna need some lights. Now this again kind of throws water on the notion that you can have a cheap $5 hydroponic setup. Well, that's true, but if you want it to grow, you're gonna need some lights. If you Google grow lights, it is going to blow your mind. There's like a billion different kinds. There's LED, there's CFL, there's your standard fluorescent tubes, there's uh, T5s, there's H, you know, high pressure sodium, low pressure sodium, all sorts of stuff. And you're just gonna go, I just wanna grow some lettuce, man. What do I need to grow lettuce? Well, lettuce, like I said, is one of the easiest plants to grow. It has one of the greens in particular, since they don't flower, need less light than a flowering plant like a tomato or a cucumber. So you can get away with cheap lights. Like you can get some $10 shop lights. In fact, the lights you see in these videos where I've grown lettuce, I'm using $10 shop lights that I got at Walmart. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know if I can say names of places on TV or whatever this is. Walmart. I went to Walmart and I got some shop lights for like $8. Now, then I got the brightest, bluest bulbs I could find. Daylight bulbs, 2,900 lumens. And I know lumens, people will argue about lumens, whether or not they're important for plant growth or not, but that's how these are measured. So the brightest, bluest bulbs I could find. And they did amazing. They did great. You can grow lettuce with $20 worth of lights. So don't feel like you need to spend, you know, $150 on a T5 setup or, you know, $1,000 on an LED setup. If you're growing a certain kind of crop that's not lettuce, you may need more intense lights, like a tomato, for example. Anyway, tip number three, you're gonna need some lights. Well, that's it. Those are the three things. Three things that if you do will maximize your success. If you use the cracky method, get the right size container, get yourself some proper nutrients, and give, get yourself some proper lights, you will grow some awesome lettuce. Uh, so, like I, like I said, obey the laws of nature. Give a plant all the water it needs, all the food it needs, and all the light it needs, and it'll grow. So, thanks for watching. Like it till. And uh, subscribe, like, Snapchat your friends, Facebook, whatever. Whatever you do. Thanks. Bye. That gives it the nitrogen, the potassium, and the uh, nitrogen, potassium. Drawing a blank here. What's the last one? Nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus.